Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. Montana Love versus Carlos Diaz. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, I real I just realized that I didn't make a, a video about this fight prior to this. Uh, letting you guys know that it was happening, so I apologize for that. But to those who don't know, fight will be taking place this weekend, this Saturday on the 4th of December, December 4, 2021, live over at the MGM Grand in Vegas. And the undercard of Haney versus Diaz to be shown live on The Zone. So tune into The Zone this December 4 if you can't make it to the MGM Grand to watch not only the Haney versus Diaz fight, but as well as the Love versus Carlos Diaz fight as well. So, um, yeah, scheduled for 10 rounds in the welterweight division. To those who don't know who uh, Montana Love is, he's a 26-year-old fighter from Cleveland, Ohio. 16-0, one draw, eight wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. Come of a very, very good win against Ivan Baranchek back in August of this year in the undercard of the Jake Paul versus uh, Tyron Woodley fight in a fight that really surprised me. And it was a very damn good fight, man. Montana Love looked spectacular in that fight. He looked very good representing cleveland and you know fighting in the jake paul card a lot of people were watching that event and he definitely gained a lot of fans from it and now he's now under eddie hearn and match from boxing so this will be his first fight under uh, a new promoter and montana love is actually ranked under um the ibf at number 12 in my opinion he should be higher but uh you know give him some time and i think he will definitely get there uh, up in the rankings um just a matter of time um, on the other hand, Carlos Diaz is a 26-year-old fighter from Mexico with a record of 29 wins, 1 loss, 14 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. He has fought all his entire career over in Mexico. He's never fought outside of Mexico, so this will be his first time fighting in uh, enemy territory. He's coming off a no contest against uh, uh, Elvis Torres. And honestly, looking at his resume, I don't recognize anybody else other than Jose Zebeda. Um, and I tried to find footage of that and I couldn't even find footage of it. So I don't know uh, how good Carlos Diaz is. I just can't find any footage of him. But, you know, knowing that he's the B-side in this fight, knowing that he hasn't really uh, fought or beaten anyone notable like, other than Jose Zebeda, um, tells me that on paper, this fight should be a win for Montana Love. Montana Love's the A-side. He's come of a spectacular win against a former champion in Ivan Baranchik. It's kind of hard to go against Montana Love after beating Baranchik. So, and plus, I was really, I was really impressed with what I saw from Montana Love. What I saw Montana Love, he's the future world champion, in my opinion. Future world champion at 140 pounds. Uh, right now, Josh Taylor is the only champion at 140. Can he beat Josh Taylor? Uh, maybe not at the moment. But once Josh Taylor decides to move up and wait, and all those four belts are available, I can definitely see Montana Love grabbing one of those belts in the near future. Depending on Josh Taylor staying at 140 or not. Um, but yeah, on paper, this fight should be a win for Montana Love. Um, fought better opposition. He, uh, and like I said, I was I was just really impressed with what I saw of him in the uh, Jake Paul undercard. It, I, I definitely see him become a world champion one day. So I, I pick him to win TKO knockout in the later rounds, round number 7-8. Or decision. If I assume... You know, usually a lot of uh, Mexican fighters come forward. They love to make a fight. They have that Mexican style. I'm assuming Carlos Diaz is that way as well. And if that's the case, whew, it's going to be an easy night for Montana Love, in my opinion. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'll definitely be watching uh, this weekend, uh, this Saturday, tune into the zone to watch Montana Love back inside the ring against Carlos Diaz. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.